figured I'd comfort some of you gas freaks who have gas in your mother's living room and you bought stuff you hate. Let's talk about the pain. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. So I figured today we talk about two of the dumbest purchases I made this year. You're witnessing one of them. It's the best and the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. That was a Porsche. Uh, it was ton, uh, ton of Porsche. So we're on the Huawei P40 Pro with the biggest sensor one. It's like the 24 mil equivalent, almost one inch sensor, slight amounts of tonne, but the regrets in my heart, oh. First, let me just say, sometimes it looks fantastic. I bet it looks okay now that it's overcast. So I made all my decisions based on how it looked that day in an overcast day. Then I took it out and made the foolish mistake of comparing it to the Olympus EM1 Mark III. You, that's the battle you can't win, no matter what you are, medium format. And it was sunny, and the first, I had to delete the first clip, because I don't know what the hell was in this. But my coat was purple, my face is beet red, like I went to that tomato throwing festival and lost. It still looks like it. This is straight out of camera. So what I've been doing is, knock down the saturation and then you're okay but the reds in this thing there was red there uh, i don't get it it's the really the really thing that irks me about smartphones is the inconsistency of the image it just changes all the time the colors one time you're in the shade it's like is he tonic what what did he look at good morning that confused us all. I thought my cat followed me. So I've been disappointed when in bright sunlight, it's like clipping my face. The colors are really strange. All the modes don't work. There's like different color profiles, but there's only like three of them. And the other two are super vivid, terrible things. And then there's a bunch of other ones where you lose stabilization. It's not even the same thing anymore or a blurry background mode, or the black and white bullshit. So, the terror in my heart. And then it's the usability. I have to have this mirror up there. You can get away with not having it, but the whole ergonomics of this whole thing, and the mic that I just bought that doesn't work, I just bought a USB-C lav mic, and it worked, but it was giving me this popping sound. Every It was like a metronome. It was like... Like, what the hell is that? So now we have the ultimate vlogging setup. Right? That should be good. That should be good. Especially in low light. Amazing colors. So I'm returning that. And the only solution to get external audio is what you guys said. I have to re-get that USB to 3.5 and then a TRS to TRRS adapter and then a lav mic into that, that's gonna fail. That connection, something's gonna go wrong eventually and you're gonna hear clickety clicks, just like a GoPro. What could have been a very simple light setup is turning into a headache fast. So I just ordered the those two cables I just explained and hopefully my lav mic plugs into it and then we have some external audio. Right now I'm doing externally in the Tascam DR10L I can't do that. What if I want to stop and then switch? It's like a bunch of stops. To make matters much worse, you think this purchase was bad. I'm a moron to the 10th degree. I'm a 33 level mason in the 10th degree moronhood. So originally I was debating between this, the P40 Pro, and the Mate 40 Pro. And they both have their advantages. This has slower slow motion, but as we've seen, it's too slow and stupid. At times it's fun, but it's like unusable almost. One second burst, do you have any idea? Although I found a hack, little side tangent. You put the timer on, you get a two second timer, you press record, you run. We'll get it. I didn't quite get it, but that's what I did at the beginning. 
So the debate was, get this one for cheap. I got this 900 on Kijiji used. Good condition, nothing wrong with it. Thank you, guy, who did that. And the Mate, it's so new that it was like $2,600 Canadian. I was like... And it looked like it had worse specs. But still, it had a wider front-facing cam. And the sensor, the wide sensor, which we will switch to now, right? Wow. It had less megapixels and therefore more dynamic range. But the nicer lens that I was just on loses stabilization. So that could be a nightmare. And this might look much worse. And that's a loud ass truck. That's a loud ass truck. Look at that car. Where is it? <laughs> a Corvette? Oh, wow. So anyways, $2,600, yet I still kind of wanted it. Then I saw it for $2,100. I'm like, that's interesting. A little sale going on there. A couple days later, I see it for $1,600. I'm like, oh, I should have just bought that one. It was irking my soul. Then I see this thing for $1,300 with a disc 2% discount if you buy it through like Interac or something. So I was like, I gotta pounce on that. So I pounced. And now I have two pieces of shit. It's on its way. I don't have the other one yet. I've spent $2,400 on smartphone technology that looks worse than a GoPro underwater. I look like I have heart disease. I probably do, but still. So bacon's a superfood. You've been lied to. Why is it so red? And you can't change it. You can't change any of the settings. And the more I think about it now, the Mate 40, it was exciting because the front facing cam had a super wide lens, basically the same wideness as this. But now that I think of it, it's gonna be worse quality. The sensor's smaller. So like, I'll never actually use it. I'll still be flipping it around. And now that one will lose stabilization on the best lens. And it has worse slow-mo. And it was like twice the cost. That was dumb. And you know what shit, to get back to that lens, it's not obvious. I don't think that's even it. Is it? Is there tone it now? It's like 1.1 times. There's no like obvious, oh God, what are you doing? Where is that? Oh wow, oh the zooms. Let me fly towards my hands. Towards my hands. Let me fly towards my hands. Towards my hands. Do you have any idea how hard it is to use this slow motion? I don't even know that it's a one second burst. Like there's some birds, that would have been perfect. I tried, I put the trigger on it. We got them, eventually. I was standing next to some pigeons waiting for them to fly, but the scene wasn't that great. It was just poo everywhere. Poo on the restaurant, umbrellas. You're eating under poo, pigeon poo. The only saving grace is the potential different color science of the Mate 40 Pro, I think it is different. It's tweaked and it might be better, could be worse. And then that's, that's the more expensive phone. What am I gonna do with these phones? My girlfriend needs a new phone, but it's way above her weight Levitt. Levitt? Uh oh. She uses the Moto G3 or something from 1921. So I can just picture it. Basically, I'm gonna prefer this camera. I'm gonna give her the $1,500 one just so she can check emails. She's not even allowed to. There's no Google services. Oh, boy. We'll see. When I get the Mate 40 Pro, we'll compare them. We'll see what's the better phone. I'll keep one. Th that one has 480 frames per second slow-mo, which is probably just enough. I bit off more than I could chew with the 960 frames as well as the 7000. That's difficult. Things are just too slow. 
You know the real sad thing? I got some squirrel footage in like 7,000 frames, even 960. It just, it looked like garbage compared to what, it, like what am I even gonna use it for? Why did I think I needed that? <laughs> Slow motion is so fun, but we just need a good 480p with a longer than one second burst. Who's gonna do it? Does the mate do it? It's probably just a one second burst. I'm curious to see the zoom range of this thing. We're at the ultimate wide right now, yeah. So let's let's go for it. That's nice and smooth. Wow. How does it look? Is it stable? It looks like everything's melting. Oh, you damn truck. Oh, you ruined my shot, pure later. I'll call that number and complain, asshole. And then we bring it back out smoothly as it skips through all the different lenses smoothly. <laughs> wow, that is some bullshit. And there's no markers to know when you hit the next lens. There. Then what? That's slowly doing it. If you hold the button, oh, that's much better. Oh, it was user error the whole time. Oh, God. Oh, God. Do you mind being in my video? How about you, sir? It's tracking him. I just much prefer the mirrorless look, any of them. The Olympus, the G9. It's hard to go back to one of these. It's like better than a GoPro sometimes. The color is not really, but I might just have it just for the slow-mo. So it's in my pocket. I see something. All right, we got it. And I'll add that to my mirrorless vlog. We'll see. What dumb things have you bought this year? Comfort me down below. Stupid camera. I could have bought a Canon R with the 35mm 1.8 for the same price as these two phones. I could have got so many different things. A ZV-1 and that stupid gimbal. It could just live on there. So many missed opportunities. I could have bought my mama an e-bike. A brand new one that could truck around the town. I am a selfish whore. I deserve nothing. So, I am no Marcus Pix. My face is redder. He is the California orange. I have tomato heart disease red. It's not a good look. I'm gonna leave. Thanks for buying a camera conspiracy t-shirt. Subscribe for my now, Santa.